And now to introduce Trilista Corporation President and CEO Andrew Guy. Born and raised in Napaskiak, Andrew grew up speaking Yupik, and he had to learn English like many other children that were sent away to school. Years later, he started as an intern at a Trilista subsidiary doing research and financial analyses. Andrew earned a degree in business administration from University of Alaska Fairbanks and went on to earn a law degree from the University of Colorado School of Law. He served on the board of directors and worked as the vice president of Ulista Management Services. He then joined Chilista's executive team as general counsel, involving him in the corporation's contract negotiations and business enterprises. 27 years after first serving as an intern, Andrew Guy was promoted by the Board of Directors to President and CEO of Chilista in 2010. As a business leader in the state, President Guy has been featured or quoted in several news articles in Alaska Business Monthly, Alaska Journal of Commerce, Fairbanks News Miner, Juno Empire, and more. Kalyana for that introduction, Mr. Chairman. And I would like, in turn, to begin by recognizing all the staff from Talista Corporation and our subsidiaries. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, they have continued working hard, even from home. Our dedicated employees have brought cells to, to their beds, checking messages one last time before going to sleep, and first thing in the morning upon awakening. Our employees are one part of our team, fully committed in realizing our vision and mission by following our mission and vision statements in line with our cultural values, we are dedicated to continuous improvement for Jalista and our family of companies on behalf of you, our shareholders, and our communities. As our chair mentioned, Jalista began to implement Jalista's new five-year strategic plan this year. These four goals are connected and provide a path to keep our corporation moving in the right direction. Our chairman already addressed the important goal to increase Jalista shareholder benefits, employment, education, and leadership opportunities, which is made possible by successfully executing the long-term plans and annual objectives to meet the other goals. I will be addressing these three other goals. One, sustainably develop Jalista's natural resources. Two, promote in-region economic development and partnerships. And three, maximize and grow profits through diverse, strong business lines. Sustainably develop Jalista's natural resources. Our region is fortunate to have both renewable and non-renewable natural resources. Our renewable resources have sustained us for millennia, and now resource development complements our subsistence activities by making it possible to afford equipment and materials including nets, fuel, and more. Since ANCSA over four Four decades ago, our leaders have taken a careful and thoughtful approach toward mineral exploration and development. The past 10 years could be termed the environmental phase for the Donlan Gold Project. The focus shifted from exploration to designing and permitting a modern mine that protects workers, the environment, and subsistence resources for us, the shareholders. During this period, changes were made to the project to reduce barge traffic on the Kuskokum River and create an additional protective measure for tailings, the use of a synthetic liner, which is above and beyond that required by the mining regulations. Upon using generations of our shareholders' traditional knowledge in combination with modern scientific monitoring and sampling methods, Dallin Gold also began studying one of our most precious subsistence foods, rainbow smelt. Nearly every year since 2014, our Kuskokum River smelt have never been scientifically studied before in this manner. It's important to recognize and honor, and honor so many who have provided their input and participated in Dallin's exploration and permitting efforts. Many of these individuals understand our reliance on subsistence and have carried on with their lifelong commitment to increase sustainable economic opportunities in our region. These include people who are still involved or worked on a project and others who have transitioned to different roles that also help our region and our shareholders. The Darlin Gold Project is truly a multi-generational project creating opportunities beyond just mining. 
with continued input from our board, employees, and shareholders who care about our lands, the Down and Gold Project can help our shareholders and YK communities thrive. To promote in-region economic development and partnerships, Jalista works with organizations in the YK Delta. The Jalista Energy Management Assistance Initiative, or Chamai, was formed in 2016 to support living and thriving in the YK. Chamai supports this by actively seeking to, see, to save money and energy for shareholders, residents, businesses, and other organizations of the Jalista region. In 2019, Jalista worked with Nuvista and other key partners to host a YK Energy Environment and Economy or 3E work session in Bethel. It drew more than 130 participants from 30 villages from the region. These participants focused on key issues of in infrastructure, housing, subsistence, transportation, energy and economic development, identifying regional priorities for the next three years. The 32 action items they identified range from airport upgrades to increasing subsistence skills among our youth. Another advocacy effort took a decade to accomplish. For nearly 10 years, Jalista supported the city of Imangak's efforts to build a regional port in Imangak. We joined with the city and many other YK organizations to advocate for funding. Those efforts finally bore fruit in 2018 when the U.S. Department of Transportation awarded a $23.1 million grant to the city for the project. The city recently received its notice to proceed and the project is scheduled for completion in 2020, 2022. This project is a is a success because of the key YK partners that include the Imangak Tribal Council, the Chuluno, Chuluno Native Village, Guichpak Fisheries, AVCP, AVEC, and YKHC. Support from each of these entities has been consistently strong, reinforcing the vision of a better economy for the Lower Yukon region. Another success for this goal has the village of Newtuck literally on the move, with support from many organizations and agencies, including Jalista subsidiary Bryce Inc. In 2019, residents of Newtuck began the historic process of moving nine miles southeast to Mukhtarvik, which translates to a place to get water in our Yupik language. Bryce produced gravel pads for 13 homes in preparation for, 100, for 129 people moving to the new site and also began using a nearby quarry for different projects. In fact, with the quarry near Newtuck, the cost of materials was significantly reduced for airport, airport runway re repairs in Tuxuk Bay and can bring down the cost of other infrastructure projects. Unlike other areas of the state, our region has been disadvantaged by the lack of an entity working for all of our region to improve our economy. Recognizing this weakness, for years, many of our shareholders and leaders have asked Jalista for help in strengthening our region and empowering our tribes and communities. The challenges facing the YK region are too critical to ignore. There are 56 federally recognized tribes in our region, and Jalista has worked with our tribes, nonprofits, and for-profit corporations for decades, including through the 2014 Regional Chair Steering Committee to bring together one unified, unified voice for our region as envisioned by our elders. The Jalista Board and other supporters believe it's time to create a regional tribal government. A regional tribe would also keep Jalista resources in the hands of Jalista shareholders by empowering the people of the region, represented by each tribe in the YK to control how future resource revenue is directed and investment for our future generations. Continuing on our strategic goals, one of the best ways for us to benefit our shareholders and future generations is to maximize and grow profits to diverse strong business lines. I'd like to share that Jalista has made a conscious had made a conscious and disciplined effort to expand our operations outside of Alaska and yes, outside of the United States. We as shareholders are privileged to benefit when our corporation realizes growth and success with expanding business operations and taking advantage of prospects.
We have thrived in the last decade. We purchased Price Inc. and its family of companies in 2010. We formed Telista Real Estate in 2011. We acquired SCG Inc. and its subsidiaries in 2013. Telista supported the formation of Nuvista Light and Electric Cooperative in 2011. We formed what is now E3 Alaska in 2012. Most recently, we made an investment to become a 25% owner in Delta Constructors, a leading oil and gas support company operating across North America. We continue to expand our real estate investments, pursue construction projects, and expand contracts in and beyond the federal government. Looking over this last decade, we have seen major growth in Chalista as a business and Chalista as a community of shareholders. We currently have over 32,000 shareholders, compared to about 13,500 three years ago. With our growing family of shareholders, it is now more important than ever to to ever to continue growing our family of companies. With this at the heart of our strategic goals, we will continue to grow and provide benefits to you, our shareholders. And that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Oyana for listening, and I ask on behalf of the board, management, staff, and myself for your prayers as we work through this pandemic for Jalista and for you.